it's interesting that the Bible says here not fruits of the Spirit you would assume it's talking about nine different characteristics like love peace patience kindness and you would assume it will use proper grammar by calling it fruits of the Spirit because there are many of them but it's using word fruit when it talks about works of the flesh it uses plural works when it uses fruit it says only fruit not fruits of the Spirit why because Holy Spirit all of these nine characteristics Holy Spirit develops at the same time in your life you can develop one of them by yourself but you cannot develop nine of them by yourself at the same time you can develop love at the expense of self-control you can develop kindness at the expense of love you can develop one work on one while all five other of them are just rotten to the bone but you cannot develop all nine at the same time only Holy Spirit can take all nine and at the same time develop these in your life a person can develop one at the expense of another but Holy Spirit develops all nine at the same time that's why they're called fruit not fruits of the Spirit therefore you and I cannot say well I have the fruit of love but I don't have the fruit of patience that means you don't have the fruit of the Holy Spirit the fruit of the Holy Spirit is all nine you may say oh my goodness uh, that's not possible that's why it's called fruit of the Holy Spirit it's not called fruit of fasting it's not called fruit of your prayer it's not called fruit of your New Year's resolutions it's not called fruit of your workout it's not called fruit of reading self-help books it's not called fruit of I'm gonna work it on myself it's not fruit of your efforts because if you work on yourself if you pump an apple that's all it's gonna be but then you see all others will be struggling but when Holy Spirit is working on it they're all nine being produced at the same time it's a fruit a fruit grows slowly a fruit is not a machinery produced by a machine where things can be done so quickly a fruit first is sour before it's sweet and this is the frustrating part that we get sometimes as Christians is when you walk with Holy Spirit you begin to notice that your character and change in your life does not happen all the time that's why I have a hard time believing testimonies where people say my life was radically changed on that night I know what you mean but I also know what really happened your life cannot be dramatically changed in one day it can't now you can receive salvation in one moment you can receive deliverance in one moment you can receive healing in one moment but fruit cannot be developed in one service and so after a week or after two weeks you will recognize you know what not everything changed that night and then after a month you will realize well you know what it seems like nothing changed since that night why because a fruit does not happen overnight and at first it's sour before it's sweet that's why as a Christian when you walk with Holy Spirit and you get so upset during traffic you get so upset with something that in many times you'll be tempted to say oh Holy Spirit is not working in my life yes he is you just have to pat yourself on the back and say my fruit is so sour today but it's on the way to be sweet you have to pat yourself on the back and when you see a fellow Christian sinning or maybe like you see that they're not that their, their attitude is so down you pat him on the back and say you know what we all can taste it's kind of sour huh your fruit is very sour but, but you are on your way don't immediately think that they got a demon don't immediately think that oh the Holy Spirit is so far from them oh they're so far from the Holy Spirit because they don't have these features in their life and they're not sweet remember before they got sweet they were first sour and so it's the process the Holy Spirit develops and Holy Spirit uses the word fruit to encourage you that if certain things in your life are still not in there where they're supposed to be this is not a moment to quit and say this is taking too slow can we hurry up God don't you have a microwave God don't you have a drive-through system God can we get it done faster I can help you to do it faster no this is the moment to say Holy Spirit I am not gonna quit in my relationship why because I know that it's a fruit and I know fruit takes time 
it grows it doesn't get made it grows it doesn't get created that's why with Holy Spirit you don't go through life you grow through life that's why with Holy Spirit every single year you are getting better you might not be better than me you might not be I might not be better than you but with Holy Spirit I am better this year than I was last year with Holy Spirit I can be better this week than I was last year why because it's a fruit and it grows but you know every single if you have trees in your backyard or in your, in your front yard and I would encourage you to plant some if you don't have any because it's a fascinating interesting part of how slow they grow and it encourages your Christian faith but secondly of you can do nothing to pull a fruit out of a tree you cannot set up a blow dryer you cannot put a certain sprinkler on it to sprinkle you cannot feed it nothing the only thing you can do to grow fruits is that you can constantly and continuously work and cultivate the tree and the tree will produce the fruit on its own and this is my encouragement to you here work on your relationship with Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit will work on your character